Right, before we get into this video, just want to say, whoa, I've got a 30 series graphics card. I just needed to get that out. <laughs> so I'm going to do that again. Whoa. <laughs> also, I will stick links to chapters. So there's any part of this video you want to skip, because it might be quite long, I don't know. Any part of this video you want to skip, you know, you want to jump to any part you can. Like I said, I will stick links in there. But I also want to tell you how I've got older this graphics card, how much it costs, and how we're going to do a bench test. Because we're running one already. That is running Blender, and that is on that computer over there. I updated to the latest uh, graphics drivers for that, just so we can make sure it's got the best performance. And it's set on gaming graphics or drivers, not on rendering drivers, if that makes sense to anyone. It should do. You get the idea. I'll just put the basic drivers in, basically. Yeah. So I got this from Overclockers, and at the time of making this video, link in the video description, they're still selling them. They've got at least 10 plus. That's what it says. So if you want one, they're in the video description. Click on the link. It will take you to Overclockers, and you can buy this graphics card for just over £800. Now, I know it sounds a lot, but at the time of making this video, it's still good. And that's why I bought one. I have a 1080, 1080. I have a 3080 on order since September, September 2020. Yes, and it's still not here yet. This is a 3070. I know you might be thinking, well, why did you get that one? Because I got fed up waiting. I needed a graphics card. I need a graphics card to go in now, not in now, but we're going to put it in there just for the test because I've got 1080 Zotec, that is a 3070 Zotec and it should give you a reasonable amount of performance or should be a big jump and then I'm going to take it out of there and chuck it in there. So uh, with that, woo <laughs> let's get the unboxing done, see exactly what you get for your money. I will install it into that one as soon as the bench test is finished. It's still going, I think. And then we're going to give it another test. And see how we get on with this little baby. So, let's get the unboxing done, shall we? This video is sponsored by Sahara Gaming. I've teamed up with them to bring you a £20 discount on their all-in-one water cooling system. Check out the link in the video description for more details. This discount will only last till September 2022. After that, you pay the normal price. So with that, let's get back to the video. Well, I have waited a very long time to get a 30 series graphics card, like many other people, and it has been extremely frustrating. So I've been looking forward opening the box. Nice bit of pet. Oh, there's some sweets. <laughs> What's the expect in that? I don't know if it's supposed to be in there or not. <laughs> I'll have them later. <laughs> Let's have a quick look around. So, Zotec Gaming Amp. Hola, Hola Black, Hola Black, I don't know, GeForce RTX 3070, 8 gigabyte of RAM, Ice Storm, Spectra, Freeze Tech, Firestorm, yeah, nice, uh, I like that, nice effect, sorry, I'm just enjoying the moment, alright, I'm enjoying the moment, don't forget, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing, it does help the channel to keep on growing. Get amplified with the all new Zotec Gaming GeForce graphics card based on the NVIDIA AMPA architecture in integrated with next generation technology, breakthrough bandwidth and ultra fast graphics memory game stronger than ever before. And I'm not going to read any more out because I want to get it open. Yes, I know, I'm just as bad as you.
So we have, we have some screws. There, three little screws. Which goes? Oh, slides out. Uh, instructions, I'm guessing. Not sure. I'll get that out of the way. Now, something to bear in mind, if you've never installed a graphics card, there are some features you need to make sure of. I'm not sure if we're going to be using that cable. And one of them being, you've got to make sure you've got enough power to run something like this. Yes, I've got a thousand watt power supply in both my computers. I know I have more than enough. And the reason I have a thousand watt power supply is because I like to upgrade when I can. Let's have a look, baby, let's have a look. Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought it was. Considering it's only got two fans. Oh, that was the right way, man. Live to the game, that's what it says. Right, let's have a look at connectivity. So it should, hopefully, have plenty of connectivity. So it has... Display port, that's display port. Uh, I will be using a display port. My right hand monitor is display port or HDMI, but I prefer display port. My left hand mo monitor is HDMI only. So we have two display ports. No, tell I. We have three display ports and one HDMI. See, I prefer display port. I think it's far better. That's my personal opinion, and I'm sticking with it. Well, my bench testing is still running at the moment, so I can't actually install it yet, but... Oh, actually, we could pull this off, though, can't we? We like that. And this one. Look at that. That's really nice. I do like that effect. Want to buy a new graphics card? Check out my link in the video description. Ah, oh, got you there, didn't I? So I will not be using that. Oh, that is a support bracket. That is what them screws are for then. So uh, I've never used one of these before. I've made my own because they didn't make things like this. When you, you know, when we started getting big, heavy graphics cards, I'm waiting for the bench testing to finish and then we'll do part two, okay? Before we get stuck into the scores on the doors, the bench testing, I just want to point out, I didn't just run Blender, I actually run quite a few other programs, and it was quite surprising on the actual difference of the scores, or lack of difference on the scores, depending on what bit of software you used. I run Blender, I run 3D Mark, I run Nova Bench, and I run a few others, and I'm going to go through them all, but the way I've done it, I've done screenshots. So when they finished, I took a screenshot of the actual scores, and saved it and then I'm just going to show you it like that. I'm not going to do a bar graph or anything like that. I just want to quickly show you how it all works. So the one on the left or the picture on the left of the screen is of the old graphics card and the one on the right is of the new graphics card. The drivers were updated. They both used the same driver and I double checked to make sure there's no new drivers out there for either card just in case something changed. So don't be surprised you think, well, how's that work then? Because one of them was actually lower with the new graphics card than with the old graphics card. And a part of that reason is because some of the bench testing is of the whole computer, not just of the GPU, and some of the other ones are just of the GPU because I don't have any licenses for the software that I'm using. I'm only using the free version, okay? So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Because I'm talking too much about it. And we need to see the scores. First up was Blender, and that really did surprise me. I was expecting more from the performance on that. But it only gave an 89% with the new card in it. I thought, well, that's a bit weird. But that's how it is. Let me know in the comments what you think. Then I tried out user benchmark and that was roughly what I would expect looking at that I thought yeah it looks about right stick with it though stick with it then we tried out Geekbench and yeah a big jump that really did surprise me and I thought yeah that looks about right considering how old the graphics cards are that was about right PC Mark 10 
again, that surprised me on the score. I was expecting perhaps more from that, and it didn't actually happen. Pass mark. Pass mark was a big surprise as well. I mean, look at that. Don't forget, the one on the right is the new graphics card, not the one on the left. And I thought, well, where does that work? That's really weird. But that's how it is. Nova Bench. Nova Bench looked like I was running the same graphics card. It just come out with the same score. I thought, that's not right. And then there's 3D Mark. And yeah, 3D Mark made a big difference. And look at the score on that. That, to me, is probably the most accurate out of all of them. I thought, yeah, it looks about right. Considering how old my old graphics card is compared to my new graphics card, that looks spot on. Let me know in the comments what you think about the actual scores. I found them quite interesting, especially things like Blender, which done the whole lot, done the whole computer. And when I put the new graphics card in, it actually gave it a lower score. My bench testing did take me a few days to actually run for all of them. I did do quite a few of them. The reason for the bench testing taking so long is because some of the bench testings were full bench tests and they can take a couple of hours to actually run and some of them were actually just a GPU like the 3D Marks. I found the 3D Mark one very interesting because to me it was the most accurate. 11,857 was the score and I thought that is about right but then that is only GPU score. You know, didn't do a full bench test, just done GPU, which is what you probably really want. Also, let me know in the comments whether you prefer the way I've done the screenshots or would you prefer a bar chart? You know, just showing it. You know, some people, or most of uh, the YouTubers that I watch, just show the bar charts, and unless you keep pausing them, you don't really see a lot because you've got to work out which one's the old one, which one's the new one. But I quite like the way I've done it. Let me know in the comments whether you like the way I've done it or not. Also, I will be bringing out another video of how to install a graphics card. I know what you're going to say, oh, there's loads of them out there, but I haven't done one. I'm going to be doing that graphics card, the 3070, and I'll be putting it into my other computer, but I will do a tutorial on how to install it. And I know, I know it's quite easy to do, but there are a lot of people out there who don't know how to do it. So with that, if you like my video, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money whatsoever, and it does help the channel to keep on growing. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe. Oh, and please check out our sponsor, Sahara Gaming. Thank you very much for watching.